The Bible says in Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, verse 9, that Paul the Apostle was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, if you now fast forward to Acts of Apostles, chapter 19, um, if you start reading from verse 11, you discover that Paul was able to do a lot of miracles, a lot of signs and wonders. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that even his shadow was seen in people. People were touching his handkerchief and they were getting healed. So Paul was able to do so many miracles, was able to cast out demons, was able to heal the sick. Just because the power of the Holy Ghost. Remember in the end of us, as of Apostle chapter 13, verse, verse 9. The Bible tells us it was filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Be not very, you need the Holy Ghost. You need to look for the Holy Ghost. If there's one thing you must look for all the remaining days of this year, look for the Holy Ghost. Look for the power of God. Look for the anointing of God. Seek the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the power of the Holy Ghost for you to lead a victorious Christian life. You need the power of the Holy Ghost for you, for you to neutralize the fiery arrows of the enemy. The, the miracles Paul was able to do were not ordinary. He was able to perform those miracles because he was fed with the power of the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost that makes a difference. When you are filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, evil spirits will be cringing before you. What you are fearing now is because you don't have the power of the Holy Ghost. Beloved, look for the power of the Holy Ghost through fasting. Look for the power of the Holy Ghost through praising and singing hymns to the Lord. Look for the power of the Holy Ghost through prayer. Say, if you need to secure yourself into a place, and seek the power of God, seek the presence of God, seek the anointing of God. You need supernatural power. You cannot continue to live on this ordinary level and expect things to happen. If you look at Ephesians chapter 6, it said you must you must ensure that we are full with the full, we are full with the power of God. So that we can subdue principalities and power, rulers of darkness. You need the power of God. Seek the power of God. Look for the power of God. And it's not magical. You cannot buy it. You cannot purchase it. You cannot bribe anybody to get it. It comes through preaching. It comes through seeking God. It comes through loving God. It comes through devoting your time in the presence of God. It comes through reading the word of God. It comes through Speaking to God in prayers. You need spiritual power. You cannot do without spiritual power. All these challenges, affliction you are facing is because you don't have spiritual power. The Bible says, Behold, I have given unto you power to travel on snakes and scorpions and overcome every power of the enemy. For you to overcome that power of the enemy, you need the power of God. Do not joke. Any, any, any gathering. Christian gathering, Bible believing gathering, where you need to get the power of God, go there and receive the power of God. And I profess unto you now that in the same manner, in the same spirit, as we wait on, unto the Lord, you shall experience your day on Pentecost. The power of God shall visit you, the power of God shall fall over you, the power of God shall overshadow you, the Holy Ghost shall fill you. And you shall become a chief person. And your heavens shall be opened. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.